Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to another video tutorial in the series that I've been doing on the osmosis zone, and specifically on super fluid staking. So in this video, I'm going to be answering a number of the questions, and there have been a lot of them, around the super fluid staking percentages. What is the super fluid discount factor? How does that impact these percentages? And what do these numbers mean that I see here? What is the 64.92? What is the 18? Where do those come from? How are they calculated? Calculated. Why is it that I see 37.89 Osmo here? What does this 83% APR mean here? And what's going on with my LP tokens down here? And so I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step breakdown of every single percentage that you see here, how it's arrived at. And then finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I was asked how you would add to the 14 day unbonding period. So as a quick review, superfluid staking was enabled last week. It is only enabled in pool one in the osmosis zone and only the osmo portion of the liquidity provider tokens, meaning the Atom and Osmo that are equal amounts that when you initially invested in this pool and you created the LP tokens, only the Osmo portion is eligible for superfluid staking. But we've got to get into the details because it's not all of the Osmo. And so the devil is certainly in the details. I'm also going to talk about how the APR rates have shifted down by about 19% uh, cumul cumulatively between the staking that you would do, you could do during using your Kepler wallet, as well as the pool rate of 64.92 that we see here. We're also going to be following along uh, in a way with Robo Magobo, who is one of the Discord moderators for Osmosis, does an amazing job answering questions. And this was an amazing write-up. And so I'm going to break it down and we're going to get in and dive into it right now. But before we do that, please remember that everything here is educational information purposes only. I'm not an investment advisor. This is not investment advice. I'm not responsible for any fees, fiat, assets, tokens that you lose. This is not a solicitation, endorsement uh, of any kind, and there is no financial or tax advice provided in this video. All right, so that's kind of the abbreviated version. So let's dive in. So over the last week, since superfluid staking has been enabled, I've been receiving an overwhelming number of questions just on superfluid staking and what all these numbers actually mean. Now, let's take a look at Robo Magobo's post over here. Again, I'm not going to be reading this verbatim, but we're going to be picking certain things out. Now, the first thing is the super fluid discount factor that you see him mention right here. So in addition to super fluid staking, there's this built-in super fluid discount factor. And that discount factor, which in the future may be changed through governance, is currently set to 50%. So what exactly does that mean? Well, if you look at his third bullet down here, the 50% discount factor reduces the number, and he refers to it as LP shares eligible for super super fluid staking and what he's talking about is these lp tokens down here half of these lp tokens are osmo that's how you create the liquidity provider token you use an equal amount of atom and osmo however when super fluid staking is enabled initially it was said that you could only earn the super fluid staking bonus let's say on the Osmo half or the Osmo portion of this pairing here. So a lot of people thought, oh, well, the 75.68837 Osmo I have here, I'm going to be earning a bonus on these as part of superfluid staking. And that's half right. And the pun there is intended because the superfluid discount factor takes half of these tokens out of play. Or another way to look at it is, only half of these tokens are eligible to be part of your superfluid delegation. Well, let's take a look at the math on that. So if I pull up my calculator, let's go ahead and take a look and make sure that that's right. So half of the Osmo is 75.68837 that makes up these LP tokens. What is half of that? So 75.68837. Two, because that would be 50%, is 37.844. We'll take a look at this right here. 
And again, I'm sure there's some kind of a little rounding, or maybe we get the benefit of the doubt here in the uh, osmosis zone. But that is how that number is arrived at. And again, your superfluid delegation, in other words, the portion of the Osmo that makes up the liquidity provider tokens with the atom that actually is in play here on which you are earning the superfluid bonus is what I like to call it, which is this 18% up here is half of this Osmo down here, 37.89% or I'm sorry, 37.89 Osmo. That's where that number comes from. Now, in his example, he used 10 and 10 to try to keep it simple. And as you can see right here, that's exactly what he's saying, is only half of that Osmo is going to be counted for the superfluid delegation and would be eligible to earn a bonus, right? A staking, or you're going to use that to earn a staking bonus. Now, the next thing that's causing confusion is this 18%. Where is that 18% coming from and how is it calculated? Well, if we take a look down here on the bottom, we'll end up seeing where Robo Magobo talks about the scenario at the date of writing. And this caused a little confusion. I received some questions on this as well. It says 80% APR at the time of writing. Well, where is that 80% APR? Is he talking about the APR that's shown here? The answer is no. Remember, the entire premise behind superfluid staking is that we're taking the Osmo portion of the LP pair and we're using half of that and we are staking that. We're, think of it like we're being given like sort of this derivative token that represents half of the half of the Osmo and we can stake it with one of the validators. Well, where do those validators come from? Well, if you look in your Kepler wallet, you will see that this is the staking percentage if you're just purely staking your Osmo, because that is what superfluid staking is allowing us to do. It's giving us half of the Osmo that makes up the LP pairing, and then we can take that half of that Osmo and stake it like we would if it was native Osmo. And we could earn, if we we're staking native Osmo through the Kepler wallet and the Kepler app site, we would be earning 72.83% on Osmo. But here's what's happening. If you look down here, he says, consequently, the effective staking APR, and here's where the terminology gets may get a little confounding or confusing is that when he says staking APR, people are looking and saying, oh, wait, so it's 25% of this 64.92. The answer is no, it is not 25% of the 64.92. That is not the staking number that's being referred to. The staking number being referred to is that staking number because that is what you do with this derivative Osmo. This 37.89 is we stake it with a validator like we would regular Osmo. So back to the superfluid staking and more importantly, the superfluid discount factor that we've been talking about is that the staking APR is 25% of the staking rate. So what is 25% of 72 0.83, that, that rate we saw in our Kepler wallet. Well, let's sort it out. 72.83 times 0.25. And there it is. That is where they're coming up with this 18%. And again, I refer this, my, my wording is it's a bonus, right? It's this 18% bonus that you get because you can stake this Osmo derivative that you're being given due to superfluid staking which represents half of the Osmo that makes up the pool LP pair with the atom. So that's where the 18% comes into play. So now the next question I'm getting is, what is this down here? Why does it say 83% down here? Well, if you add 64, and again, it's got the tilde in front of it, which stands for approximately 83% APR. So the question is, where is that coming from? Well, 
That is what happens when you add 64.92 and 18. We get, and let's go ahead and do that, 64.92, and I add in 18, and we get 82.92, which is approximately 83%. So that is where that 83% number comes from. Now, the follow-on question to this that I've been fielding is, so does that 83% only apply to the 37.89 Osmo? And does the 64.92 only apply to the LP tokens that we have down here that are 50% Atom, 50% Osmo? The answer is no. That 83% number that you see down here is down here with your superfluid delegation, the derivative tokens that you're getting because you're earning 83% on that. And in the pool, you're earning 83%. So the simpler way to say this is you're earning 83% on all eligible assets in this pool. And what are eligible assets? I'm defining that as your superfluid delegation derivative tokens here, the 37.89 and the LP tokens that you've created down here that are made up of half Atom and half Osmo. And so that is where all of the numbers are coming from. This is what all of the numbers represent. And that is what you're earning across the board. Now, as I stated in my first superfluid staking video, there was concern, and I even mentioned that, hey, get ready because the APRs are going to drop across the board. And I'm defining across the board as meaning when you pick a validator and if you're using the Kepler app and the Kepler wallet to do your staking, that that rate was going to drop. And I think when I made my video, that was right around 80%. Um, and then this rate, the pool rate that was here before superfluid super staking was 75.92. So if you look at the difference in these APRs, it's right around 19%. So overall, a week in superfluid staking has resulted in about a 1% drop total. And again, this is just pure percentages. Remember, we were never eligible to earn any APR on any derivative tokens because they didn't exist prior to superfluid staking. All right, so that is how you come up with all of the percentages. That is what all of these numbers mean. And the final question I got asked was, okay, well, how would you add to this? And I want to do this and I wanted to use real numbers here so that you can see exactly what happens and what's going to happen. And it's as simple as doing what you would normally do. So I'm going to come to add, remove liquidity pair. We're going to pick five Osmo, right? And so half of that would be 2.5. Now, all five will show up down in the bottom here in this pool catalyst section. So, and in fact, let me drop this here and let me scoot up just a little bit. So those five Osmo will show up down here. So my total Osmo down here should show 80.68837 or thereabouts. But what you're gonna see here is only 2.5 of those five Osmo are gonna get added to the superfluid delegation because of the superfluid discount factor. However, I'm going to be earning 83% on those, which prior to superfluid staking was not possible. So I'm going to click on add, remove liquidity. We're going to do five Osmo. The equivalent number of Atom is going to be 1.71. I'm going to say add liquidity. I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, zero transaction fee. And again, all of the relayer issues that were happening yesterday, those have all been resolved. Again, we're not going to see that impact this, but it's kind of a side note. Okay, so transaction successful. So as promised, now it shows those five Osmo got added in down here. So now we've got 80.7581 Osmo. However, we don't see anything here. That hasn't changed because I haven't dropped the LP tokens, that 50-50 pairing of Adam and Osmo into the 14-day bonding period so that it qualifies for the superfluid staking. And we're going to do that now. So again, you've got these different options and you can see here, you have to pick the 14 day option. I'm going to say max. I was asked about this as well. What does that GAM mean? Well, 
the bottom line is it's different for every pool. And I guess the sort of simple way for me to sort of skirt the issue is it's different for every pool and it's representative of the LP tokens that you currently have down here under this pool catalyst. And I'll leave it at that. So let's bond these to a 14 day bonding period to qualify them for superfluid staking. And now what you're going to see right here in the middle where it says 37.89 Osmo is that that's gonna go up by 2.5. And we're gonna give it a second here. And so what would that be? So 40.3. So we should roughly see this change to 40.3 because half of 80.75 would put us right in the ballpark of 40.3. Now, I'm not gonna wait, I'm gonna go, oops, sorry, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick refresh here so that we can speed things along, and there you go. So, let's recap again. Amazing blog post. If you're not following Robo Magobo on Medium, I highly recommend it. Again, he's the, one of the lead moderators in the Osmosis Discord group, answers a ton of questions for people, and just absolutely brilliant. Now, the 64.88, that is the pool APR. However, we get to add the 18% bonus in. Where is that bonus coming from? It's coming from whatever the staking rate is times 0.25 or 25%. You add those two together, that's what you're earning on your LP shares that are 50-50 Adam Osmo. And that is also what you're earning, <clears throat> excuse me, what you're earning on, and actually that just changed, interestingly, that changed to 18. Let's see if it goes, there we go. Okay, sorry, this actually had st stuck at 18. I was like, wait a second. So, and you're earning 83% across all, all eligible assets in this pool. And eligible assets are defined as your liquidity provider tokens down here, the 50-50 pairing, and half of the Osmo that makes up that 50-50 pairing with Adam. Again, that 50% superfluid discount factor may change in the future based on governance decisions. However, that is what it currently is, and that is why only half of the Osmo, and this is what I said when initially people were saying, oh, well, you can only earn the superfluid staking rewards on the Osmo portion of the Atom Osmo LP tokens. Well, yeah, that was true, but it was half true because you're only earning additional APR on half of the Osmo that make up the LP pairing. All right, again, I hope this was worth your time. I appreciate you guys stopping by the channel. Really appreciate the questions. Let me know what you think uh, in the comment section down below. And I will also include the link, the direct link to Robo Magobo's post here on Medium. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Happy staking. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video.